Chad from Bacon Firearms Review. Sorry it took a while to make a video. i uh, just been struggling with some financial stuff. Uh, hopefully one day this channel will probably grow and this is all I can do, but I have to work my second time job to you know keep up for buying the ammunition for all this, these videos because I have no sponsorship. So I'm going to try to crank out as many videos as possible. Um, just leave a comment below if any ideas in the future. I've been reading some of you guys' comments and uh, I just need more ideas and uh, what you guys think in your opinions and what I should do for a next review in the future. So for this video, I decided to do the CZ-52. The Vaz 80 that's on the left hand side of the gun there, as you can see, that is actually the year that was refurbished in Czechoslovakia. And on the right hand side you see the cross swords and 53. Then 53 was the designated year for the Czechoslovakian military, but the, the swords crossing is a symbol of the military. A quick history lesson about this particular pistol, the CZ-52, which the 52 is designated 52 for the model of the year that it was produced, it was designed by two brothers, John and Joroslav Krachekchevil, I think that's how you say it, and it was designed in the early 1950s, and around 200,000 of these uh, pistols were made between 1952 and 1982. And some were actually refurbished in 1980, but later was uh, replaced by uh, more updated versions of the CZ pistols. The pistol works off of a recoil-operated roller-locked um, system, kind of like the HK-93s or the HK-91s. How that roller lock system works but this is just a miniature version of that put in this pistol so it makes it kind of reliable and uh, the muzzle velocity coming from this pistol with the ammo in it is actually at 1640 feet per second so that's 1640 feet per second which is pretty fast moving for a little pistol round it's an 85 grain projectile neat feature on this gun is if your hammer's back it has a decocker as you push the safety switch up it actually um, decocks it and also acts as your safety red means dead like we always know and uh, you can lift up right here to lock the slide back manually it's kind of a pain to get to but that's all right and it won't go forward until you actually take the mag out as you can tell if i wiggle a little bit with the heel release it goes forward sometimes so just keep in mind so that's how you take the bag out how this uh, particular pistol is field stripped is these two tabs right here you pull down and the whole slide comes right off just like this. Pull down, it just kind of just pops just straight off. And to get the barrel and locking lugs out, as you can tell, you see the two roller pins right there, um, which I've replaced with newer ones because the old ones were actually breaking and also has little slot right here so you actually have a place to put the mag and use it as leverage to pull out the spring-loaded uh, barrel there and I'm just going to use the screwdriver because I don't want to damage the mag so when you take out the barrel and spring um, recoil spring you got to be careful because it's spring-loaded it'll come right at you so kind of keep your thumb right there what you do is pull back on it lift it up there's a sweet spot in there where the locking lugs disengage and there you go now it's all out. Take the recoil spring off. And you can see over here in the barrel assembly, on the barrel you see the uh, locking lugs and pins. And that's basically how you take apart the CZ-52. It's pretty simple. Uh, that's probably why they designed it for the Czechoslovakian military, because it was very easy to field strip it in case your pistol was dirty in the field. I also got some original ammunition that was designed for the uh, for the CZ-52. It's uh, made in Czechoslovakia. It's just the original packaging in Czech. But uh, this is 762 by 25 They're already stripper clip ready. But yeah, they look like that. And this is what the 762 by 25 tow crop looks like, by the way. It kind of looks weird for a pistol cartridge because it's neck down, almost like a rifle cartridge. But I guess this is the way they wanted it, I guess. But uh, yeah, this is original ammunition. It was designed specifically for the CZ-52 made by the Czech Army, so I'm going to shoot some of this today for you and see 
what the difference is between this and modern ammunition. Lelier and Belliot, I, Ballet or Bellet. Some I don't think this is a, some French company or something like that. It sounds French to me, but I got some of their ammunition, full metal jacketed, 85 grains, and also have some PPU, uh, 760 by 25 Tokarov rounds. Um, these are 85 grain also. Notice that sometimes the slide doesn't always lock open, sometimes it does. It's kind of finicky with this gun, but overall, it shoots pretty well. I had some misfires with this uh, ammunition, the surplus ammo I'm shooting, as you can tell. I had a little misfire. It's kind of weird. But uh, this is to be expected with ammo that's like over 60 years old. Uh, it's going to always have some misfires once in a while. And uh, I had another misfire after these two shots, as you can tell. After this, then click and there was nothing so uh yeah it's the only uh misfires i had of uh the 40 rounds i shot of this old ammunition and it is hotter ammunition so it is designed for this particular pistol you guys had uh, fun today. I had a whole lot of fun. Uh, this CZ-52 was actually my carry pistol for uh, the longest time until I switched to my uh, Rock Island Army 1911, which I'm going to do a review video later. But uh, yeah, overall, this is a great surplus gun to add to your collection. I mean, it shoots pretty well. I mean, it shoots a nice, fast little round out of a pistol like this, and I picked it up for like $75 with two mags. So hope you guys enjoyed the video, and like always, have a bacon of a day.